What's up guys? We got two jobs today to take care of. I thought I'd pop on the video. Very first thing we gotta do this morning is uh, I have got to stop by Tractor Supply and buy a new 12 volt pump. The pump I have had, the Everflow pump I've had, it's somewhere back there. Um, the Everflow pump I've had somewhere in the back seat finally cracked. It finally cracked after one year and like four or five months of use. That thing has made me thousands of dollars, okay? Worth of house washes and other and uh, roof washes, okay? <laughs> I've had that thing forever. And the way I make it last that long, I, I opened it up and looked inside and it was clean as a baby's bottom. I don't know why it cracked. I guess it got a little hot. It felt a little hot when I was testing it last night and it had a leak, had a crack in it. And I was like, oh, come on, man. But it's part of it. I paid $154 for it a year and a half ago, we'll say. $154 has turned, me, has turned into at least, I mean, God, I don't even know the conversion there. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to Tractor Supply. That was an Everflow I got off Amazon uh, that long ago. So what we're gonna do now, I think it's a year and a half, might be longer than that, whenever I made that video. Um, so now we're gonna go to Tractor Supply and I'm gonna get a Remco uh, seven gallon in it. I think it's like 300 bucks. But see that $300 will be paid for by today's customer at the $700 house wash. And I'll still have about 350 in profit after Kim. Because it might take, it might take 50 bucks in Kim to clean that house, probably more like 35 bucks.
Hope you guys enjoyed that house wash there. That was the $700 house wash. Now I'm heading to uh, the wash number two for the day. And this will be my last of the day unless I get another call and they want it done today. Um, it's just going to be a simple gutter clean out. First uh, one story, easy walkable roof um, right down the road. So I ended up going to Tractor Supply. I don't know if you can see over there. But uh, I went and got me, I was looking for the 5.3 Rimco, but, um, and the website said they had one in stock, but I guess somebody got it uh, because I went in there and I asked for them to help me look for it and uh, they couldn't find it. Uh, they were like, I guess somebody may have just bought it or something. All they had was a seven gallon minute Fat Boy. So guess what? We're doing a little upgrading. We just went ahead and got the Fat Boy because guess what? I have to have it. And uh, I don't feel like buying another Everflow, even though that lasted me a long time and it worked great. Um, I just don't want to buy another one off Amazon and wait on it. So we're going to go ahead, go with the Rimco, go with the Fat Boy, seven gallon minute. And uh, yeah, hopefully I can see a big difference in the gallons per minute. I've never used anything above the 5.5, uh, 12 volt wise. Uh, that'll be uh, pretty neat, I think. Um, and that'll sort of future proof me a little bit for when um, I start, I, I get bigger tanks than these two drums back here uh, once we advance the YouTube uh, build for this skid. I think the next upgrade, let's see, we just did a ladder rack and the next upgrade I think is a um, hose reel stacking kit for those two Titans back there. And that way I can move the garden hose over and then that'll free up a lot of room there where the third hose reel is that's just holding onto the garden hose, um, the flexzilla. So I think what I'll do is um, once I have that space freed up, um, I will probably, I'm thinking, I'll probably install a proportioner system in that spot. I think it's the next part of the build. And then after that, we'll be replacing these two drums. Even though they work great, they work awesome. Nothing wrong with them at all. Um, that might be like, like the final phase, I guess, besides upgrading to like an eight gallon a minute machine from this four back here. Um, I think it would be like two slim 100 gallon tanks maybe, um, like tall stand up uh, square style tanks maybe. Um, and then a small soap tank is what I'm thinking of. I have like this kind of sort of vision in my head. Uh, let me know what you guys think about that, but that's probably the process. I think next is probably a hose reel stacking kit to stack the Titans on top of each other, freeing up a lot of space uh, to do other things like the proportioning system. But we got the fat boy. I'm heading to the next job. I will try to get a little bit of footage for you guys. Um, it might be vertical because I'm going to use it for like posting on video or uh, posting on Facebook and YouTube shorts and stuff. So I'll probably have it like turned like this, but uh, that'll be okay. Uh, other than that, I'll see you guys after the job. Just took care of that quick gutter clean job. Took about, I don't know, 45 minutes. <laughs> Not even that. Cha-ching, 275 in the account. We love it. Just got a call as I was taking the check to the bank. Uh, I got a call from a guy uh, basically on the outer rim of my service area up north needing a roof cleaning. And I calculated the square footage, and it's going to be about a $1,600 job. He asked how soon I could do it. I said, we could probably do it this week. We just got to look at the weather and see, you know, when the weather's going to hit and everything. It's supposed to storm tomorrow and the next day. You could probably get up on a roof and wash it while it rains. Maybe they'll keep the ground saturated. But this is a two-story, and it's giving thunderstorms 
So it's not just gonna be raining, it's gonna be lightning and such. But that'll give us the perfect opportunity to use that brand new Fat Boy over there, Remco seven gallon per minute pump. So crazy, it's like you invest and you upgrade over time, oh my God. It's like when you invest into your business and equipment, it's almost as if the universe gives back to you tenfold. It's kind of wild, man. Um, now, do not take that and be like, oh, I need to go out here and get a 20K rig without any lead generation, any client acquisition skills whatsoever, <laughs> and be like, hey, I haven't landed a single damn job. What kind of equipment can I get into for 10K? Don't you, don't go out here and do that. What I'm saying is, is when you dial in your lead generation, your client acquisition and your fulfillment, then when you upgrade equipment over time, the universe almost as if it gives it back to you times 10. It's kind of wild. I spent, you know, 300 bucks on that fat boy and get a call the same day, which it got paid for today with today's jobs, you know what I'm saying? But what I'm saying is, uh, the same day I get a phone call for a $1,600 roof cleaning, you know? Which is awesome, it's, it's so awesome. It's so awesome, kinda wild. All right, that's probably gonna be it for the video. I'm driving back to home base. I gotta take this uh, pump, put it together. Uh, it's got the, the uh, QA fittings, I think they're called. So it's a little bit different between the ports. Um, and I had to actually uh, wire this up to a uh, SAE connector. I have to actually do a little bit of wiring. And then once I get that done, uh, it'll be ready to roll to my knowledge so i'm probably going to hard bolt this one down uh to the side of the skid i think um, i might possibly build something up on the side of the bleach container uh, and that could also be where the proportioner system goes once we build that put that together and put that on there uh, right now we're still using this rig and batch mixing as you can see uh, we'll see what we can get into tonight and what I can put together. Um, where I plan to put this one, I was just grabbing the dipstick and throwing it in there and hooking it up with a cam lock. I might still do that. I don't know. It works, man. I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Peace out. Um, go get that money, man. Get that, get that lead generation. Get that lead acquisition. The sale. And then do the fulfillment. Peace out.